we're finding out the fundamental information about how the brain works and what happens when things go wrong. Trying to understand how the brain is involved in learning new information and making adaptive decisions. The work that I do is particularly related to people who have thalamic strokes, dementia, neuropsychiatric disorders, schizophrenia, obsessive compulsive disorder, for example. So once we have a better understanding of the kinds of subtle deficits these patients experience, then we can then get a better understanding of how to treat these people and offer them therapies that will then improve the quality of their life. In the course of your day, an adaptive decision may be where somebody's rung up to say something needs to change and you've got to weigh up whether you'll carry on coming to work or make a, a different decision and go via the dentist or the supermarket to pick up something. The old world rhesus macaque monkeys that we use have a very advanced prefrontal cortex that's very similar to the humans. So we need the ability to be able to test these processes in, in monkeys so that we can translate it more readily into humans. Good boy. It's a whole team approach, animal care staff, vets. We work all the time on a daily basis to make refinements with our training in order to be able to optimise the work to get the best quality welfare for the animals and the best quality highest research productivity that we can achieve. And we're interested in their ability to learn information and make adaptive decisions. And what we get the monkeys to do is to learn lots of different objects presented on the touch screen and we get them to understand that one of them will give them a reward and the other one, if they touch it, won't give them a reward. Halfway through the session, what we can do is then reverse those parameters in terms of the ability for them to be able to get the reward. What we're finding is that the monkeys with selective damage or manipulations in the medial dorsal thalamus lack that ability to be able to do that within the course of the sessions of their training. And we're also seeing that translating into the thalamic stroke patients. It's really quite exciting in terms of being able to translate it across.